good morning everyone in the last session we discussed about the one of the important example call that uh, like a log for log for j we identified and along with this particular log for j we identify the the different example how we can communicate with the hibernate here so today we'll discuss about the another important example here we'll try to create a multiple classes here how this particular classes are going to work internally we'll try to identify here okay so now what i what I, what i'm trying to identify here first we'll try to create with uh, one of the pojo classes here the pojo classes it's going to create internally objects here okay so now for this what we are going to do here i'm trying to create a multiple classes here so observe carefully i'm creating a one class here so something like user class okay and uh, this particular user it is going to implement from this particular serializable get in the point so i'm trying to create this particular user class now i'm trying to add this particular version id so basically this is not going to use in a hibernate but when we are trying to discuss about the the http sessions related example here so there it is required here while like deserializing and serializing the object so with the help of this particular id we are going to deserialize and to serialize here so this is whenever we are trying to create the model classes we can implement with the help of this particular serializable here okay so this is important we need to understand and after this now what i'm doing here here i'm trying to add this particular string and uh, here what we can understand here address class i'm trying to create here so uh, as of now we don't have address cl address class here now what we will do we'll try to create a address class as well here first we'll create address class and uh, this particular address class also it is going to implement from the the same serializable concept here now after creating this particular address class i'm coming back to here so here now what i'm doing is i'm going to generate the setters and getters here so these are all the important section we are discussing here so this particular address and address and the username we are trying to set this particular setters and getters here okay this is important we need to understand so after identifying this now what we are doing here we are moving back to the we are moving back to the the address class so far now observe this so this is the the user class we created here inside the user class now what we are doing here we are trying to set this particular one address property and for this particular address property we are trying to use the we are trying to provide the setter signed getter here Get in the pen. Setter signed to getter here. Now another important section what we can understand here. So one of the default constructor. Okay. So this is the default constructor we are using here. Now we don't need to call any super class constructor here. So only simple default constructor is fine. so we created and another class i am going to create here the particular class is very important here what is the class we are going to use it something like a category now observe carefully here i am trying to create this particular category this category it is going to work in the association like many to many association many to one association here okay this is important we need to understand and i missed the implementation okay so this is the the category class we created and inside this particular category 
now i'm trying to add name of the category okay and uh, internally so it is going to contain getting that internally it is going to contain one of our parent category parent category and uh, so internally i'm trying to use set of what we can use here something like a category only and here child category is equals to new asset so why i am using this particular asset here because asset internally it will eliminate the duplicate values here get in the point this is important now after this now what i will do i am going to generate the the public default constructor here get in the point and after this now what i will do here i am going to generate the all the setter signed methods here like so the setter signed getters we are going to use it for this particular category but what we need what we need to understand here here we are trying to use this particular so by direction operations here because of that we are using this particular collections here okay and why we are using this set set particular set information because internally it will try to uh, like eliminate the the duplicate sections here get in the point so whatever the the duplicate section we are going to had it will eliminate internally so because of that we are using this sections here okay now so let me generate this particular set of signed getters here so i am going to select all and uh, i will remove this now you can see so this is the the method i am going to make as a private and the remaining method i am going to make as a public now you can see so this is the get name and set name and uh, get parent category and uh, set parent category we are having get in the point and uh, so one method i am making here the particular child category related guys so whatever we are having this particular child category so we are going to set as a private method because this method we are not going to call and internally what i will do i am going to add one more method here so how i am trying to add this particular method now you can see basically if i am not making this particular method as a private now what we can understand here here we are having the association created with help of this particular category as well as the child category related section here so how we are going to create this particular object basically if i want to create this particular section so now you can see here i am trying to create the simple object here first we'll create the category first we'll create the category object so after creating this particular category now what i will do here i am going to set the one more category like uh, this section we'll create we'll try to create with a child category object here the first one is the main parent category so otherwise we can make as a parent here and here child category okay after creating these two now what i am doing is with help of this particular child dot what happen why okay so this section i will move inside this child dot will try to call as a set parent category so what is the parent category we are having parent we are having and so using parent dot get in the point parent dot get to child categories after this we are going to add this particular category here now what we are going to add here so the whatever the child records we are having we are going to make it so now you can see the relations here we have a two category object here first one is parent 
and the second one is child year for this particular parent year we are setting as a child record and for this particular child record we are trying to set as a parent record here so this is the parent and child relationship so this is important we need to understand here so it's a simple one but now how we are creating this here we define the the category so this is we are going to call it as a parent category and the current object it is going to make as a child category because here the same category internally we are using the relation parent and child here and along with this now you can see here we are using the the set of objects here. the set of object is going to store for this particular child records here for this particular child records so this is important we need to understand here so how we are creating so this is the the simple logic we'll try to create but here object we created but how we are going to store the data into the database with help of this particular parent and child information so we'll see but what we need to understand here when we are trying to discuss about this particular parent category the the child must be set here because here we are trying to set this particular parent whenever we are trying to set here we need a child object here. with all this particular child object how we are going to call this particular parent category method so in that case we need a the child object must be available here and whenever we are calling this particular get child list categories and here we need a the child object here we need a, the child object as well here so here in two cases we are expecting the child object to be available here whatever the child object we are creating the object should be available here okay so we created the simple example now you can see i'm going to create a one more method so here i'm trying to create the method this is the important method i'm discussing here public void add a child category okay and here now what i will do i'm going to add category okay add child category here yeah, i'm going to add this particular category this is important information we need to understand here now so what i'm doing here, here i'm going to write this particular child category so if this particular child category is null get in the pen if this particular child category is null now i'm going to throw an exception get in the pen so this particular exception we are going to throw something like illegal illegal argument exception and we can pass this particular message null child category okay and if the child record is not null now what we will do we'll try to check this particular condition and whatever this particular child category we are having now i'm going to call get parent category so if this particular get parent category it is not equals to null if it is not equals to null now what i will do here i'm going to for this particular parent category whatever the child records we are going to have i am going to remove those child category because in below we are going to set this particular sections here okay child category dot parent category and get parent category and after this i am calling get child record and so i am going to call remove method and what is the, the object i can pass so this is the, the object i am trying to pass so see the the code how i am trying to write so from the child category again i'm calling the parent category so in the parent category the parent category again internally it will contain the child records so the child record whatever the object we are having the child record now i'm trying to remove this so after this now you can see child category dot child category dot the set parent category so what is the, the parent category i'm trying to set here current object 
okay whenever we are trying to call this particular add child category method so we are going to call with the help of this particular current object so now i'm trying to set current object here and later later now you can see child categories here so with the help of this particular child categories i'm going to add whatever the the category object we are having here so this is the add method now you can see so everything like internally we are checking we are trying to set into the parent and internally we are trying to set into the child also so with the help of this particular add category we are trying to set two objects here but here whatever we are discussing here set to child categories only we'll try to set the the child category related information not the the parent here but using this method we are trying to set parent as well as set uh, like a uh, child objects also okay this is important here now now observe carefully along with this particular category now i am going to add items also for this particular category internally each and every item is going to have okay so each and every item internally it will try to connect with the category here. so what is the the category types here okay now internally what we will do because of this particular many to many association here i'm trying to create the items here so basically the we have a multiple category and the same time at the same time we have a multiple items also okay this is important now here private item class we need to create here so as of now we don't have item now what we can do we need to create this particular items here basically okay so item class now what i will do i will create this particular item class here okay item class is created and do uh, after this particular item now what we will do inside the category again we need to generate this so we need to generate the the setter sign to getters here so here i'm trying to set the the uh, like a setter sign to getters here so here now you can see get items and uh, set items here so it is generating this particular two methods and uh, at the same time inside this particular item class now what i'm doing here here i'm going to create the so name of the item and so what is the another option i'm trying to discussing about the description item description okay and after this here i'm trying to set a set of category and the categories we can create here has it okay here we are creating this is the the particular uh, like collection type we are using and one public constructor like it's a default constructor we are using and uh, the remaining methods we are going to generate here now you can see here i'm trying to select the setter and getters here get name and set name get a description and set a description and get category and set category these are all the the methods we are having here okay so now we created now we created this particular items as well as category and internally what we can do so inside this particular category for this particular child related we created one method so same way inside this particular item we are going to create a one more method so this particular method it will try to use the all this particular information for example what is the method i'm trying to create here public void add category get in the pen and here i'm trying to i'm trying to add the parameter as a category and what you can understand 
so this is the category method we are trying to add here and uh, now what we will do we are going to check this particular category if this particular category equals equals to null now what we will do we'll throw an exception okay so throw new illegal argument here and we'll try to pass this particular null message simply null category object so if you are providing the null it is trying to throw this particular exceptions here and uh, after this now what i will do whatever this particular category we are having first we'll load get items here okay get item dot the current object we are going to pass so why we are going to pass this particular current object because the add category method we are trying to call get in the pen the add category method we are trying to call with help of this particular item only and after this now what i will do here we are having categories so with help of this particular categories i am going to add category here this is important now if you see so using this particular category now i am loading get items here and i am trying to set the current object and whatever the the collection we are using set collection i am trying to set the particular category object so this is the one more method it will try to set two objects at a time so instead of setting the one object now what we are doing is we are trying to set two objects here so this is important here and the same way now what we can identify basically this particular add category it is a similar to the the add child record whatever we created here okay whatever we created this particular sections here now finally now what i will do so if i want to create if i want to create this particular section inside the user so i'm going to make this as a private it is not required so directly we can call we cannot call this particular the set category and the same way whatever we identified this also a uh, child category because internally here we are trying to set this particular child category is here so for that purpose now what i am doing is i am trying to make this method as a remove so because this is important so this is the the simple way of writing the example in the real time also we are going to use so same logic here okay and uh, go back to here the user class so inside this particular user class and now what we are having here so far get in the pen so far we inside this particular username we are having a uh, username we are having now along with this now what we can do we'll try to use the first name and last name information now what we can do so inside this particular first name will replace with this not uh, set to username okay we'll keep the username as it is now but i'm going to add private first name this also should come with a n capital okay so last name here again i'm going to generate get it signed a setter here okay so these are all about the the getter sign setter for this particular section code now here we are trying to add the all the properties for the each and every properties we are having methods here but now what i am doing is inside the first name get in the pen so inside this particular first name now i am trying to throw one exception so throws here what is the throws we can use here something like
Invalid name exception. Now, so far we don't have this particular name exception here. Now we'll try to create this. So I think we can use this from this particular naming conventions here. So Java X dot naming dot invalid name exceptions here. Okay, anyway, now internally what I'm doing is here I'm trying to use whether it is a capitalize or not. So a simple condition I'm checking it. Let me see. I can get or not string util class. Uh, string util abstract class we are having. We need to identify one by one is no is okay. So I think this method, this particular string utils we cannot use. So just I'm trying to add one condition here. Let me try. Okay, so this method is not available. So use capitalized name instead of checking. So here, if it is a capital or not, I'm checking here. If it is not capital, we'll, we'll try to throw an exception here. Uh, right now, okay, so we can remove this section because. Apache library we don't have because of this we are not getting a the particular exceptions here. Okay. Anyway, we'll keep we'll discuss later this recording one condition about the first name. So basically if the particular first name it is not a uppercase. So I'm trying to throw an exception getting the pen. We, we are trying to store the data as a uppercases information. Okay. We'll see later how we can use this particular section of code here and anyway, finally we have a all the classes we created. So what are the classes we created here? Category we created inside this particular category. We have a so lot of information we are having and the same way item we created here and user class we created and address class we created. So we'll try to store this particular category first. Later we'll discuss about this particular user and address information. So to create this particular address now what like a category what we can do here? What we can do basically so we are trying to add inside this particular hibernate main now what I'm doing is here I'm trying to add add class so earlier we added message class now we need to add category so whenever we are adding this particular category we need a file here like mapping file we need here so now what I will do inside this particular so same package because whenever you are adding the class information so inside the same package we are going to add. Let me go to the other and the file we are going to add and this particular file basically category category dot HBM dot XML. Okay, so this is the the class I'm going to uh, sorry the XML file I'm going to add here. Now I'm trying to copy this and I will paste it into inside this particular category. Now what I will do here I'm going to change to the category class and what is the, the name of the table we are going to use it something like category only okay the name of the the table we are using category and after defining this now what we will do we'll try to move on to the id so we'll go to this particular category any id is there getting the point id we did not create it here but this particular id automatically will try to store the values here getting the point this particular value automatically it is going to store now what we can do here we need to add ID also okay so if we want to load this particular ID after this particular constructor 
I will generate the setters and getters for this particular ID. Now we'll go back to the category and here I'm using the same ID. So instead of this particular message ID, now what we will do, we'll go for the category ID. Okay, so this is the, the category ID. Now here we have a one more option we can use type also we can use here. So now you can see if I'm going to type here, we have a type. So what is a, the data type we are going to use? So what is the data type we are using a long year? Okay, so most of the data type it is going to match it with the data like the Java related data types internally it is going to match it with this particular Hibernate here. Okay, because of that I'm using type as a long year. And after this, now what I am doing here, so generator will discuss later. So right now I'm going to make this section instead of incrementing, I'm going to use as a native. Okay, we'll see how this particular generator is going to work internally. So far I'm using the earlier example, we come up with the increment. Now this example we are discussing as a native here. Okay, so what is the, the property name we are having? Name only. Get in the name of the category. So if you want to understand here the the category we are discussing the property name property we are discussing here. Now what is the, the column name we can provide something like category name here. Category underscore name we can provide and after this now what we need to understand is this is the another important section we need to discuss here. Another important section disc, uh, information we can discuss. Now you can see as of now, I'm not adding any the many to one. Basically, what we can add the many to one here, category sections here. Whatever the parent category we are having, here, we are going to discuss this particular parent category. And here, what we can do simply, parent category ID. Okay, and another important section we need to add something like here set information and we need to write with the Chaley records also. We need to write this particular mapping for this particular category like a Chaley records as well as items. Now, if I'm not adding this, we'll see how we, like first we'll discuss about the item later. We'll come back to the same category. So far we discuss about the, the main information what are the the basic information is required we discuss here and now finally i'm going to create a one more mapping file one more mapping file for this particular item item dot hbm dot xml and here what I will do here I'm going to modify this as a item and so item class I did not create any ID property here so only name and description we are having now what we will do we'll try to create a, the same id id is required here so based on this particular id only we'll generate the all the values here so the primary keys in sections we are going to discuss with the help of this particular id now i'm trying to generating this id also now you can see And we'll use the increment and what is the two properties we are having? Name and description. Item name. One more the property column we are going to discuss here. So I uh, description and here I'm going to provide item description and this is not a many to one. 
so we are going to use many to many get in the bin so many to many we are going to use it so we'll see how this section it is going to work so far i'm trying to comment out this section here this is important here now inside the category whatever we are using so this is it's applicable and still we can go for the many to many for this particular set as well as the child records here but here what we can do for this particular description what is the type we need to provide here because it is a string type here now here you can provide the string type here get in the pen so if you are not interested to use this particular column as a attribute here now what is the another option we have the another option basically column element here so instead of using this particular column attribute what we can do we can go for this particular column element here now how i'm trying to write this particular column element here so this is i'm trying to excluding this from this particular property element here now internally internally i am going to add this particular column here what is the name of the column we can provide here so here we can give description okay this is important basically when we are trying to provide this particular column element we have a more flexibility compared to this particular attribute so here now we have a lot of properties we can check here for this particular column we can check the lot of properties here but here as an attribute we cannot have those particular sections here so okay this is the differences we are going to get as a attribute as well as this particular element here this is a way we can write for this particular item name also just i'm giving the suggestion like if it is required we can go otherwise we can use this particular column attribute here and along with this now what we can do we can check the not null conditions here here we can check not null condition so how we can check this particular not null we have a attribute here by default it is false now we can do make as a true so whenever we are making this particular true so we should with this particular property like this particular the column we cannot make as a null values here so it should not be null here so we need to make some like we cannot make this particular item name as a empty we need to provide some values for this particular item name so this is the attribute is indicating here and uh, now another important information what we can do here so we have uh, some formulas here so the formula basically if i want to follow like i will give you the one more property here something like uh, name this particular property is no longer available but i am explaining this information something like so total including tax so if i want to find out this particular including tax for the particular column like this value we are going to set with help of this particular formula so what is the formula we are going to use it so something like uh, total column okay total column plus and uh, here we are going to use something like uh, what is the rate of this particular tax rate here and uh, it is going to multiply with the total get in pen it is going to multiply with this particular total some formula whatever you are expecting here you can write it but uh, just for understanding i'm trying to write here now what it will do first it will try to load the tax rate about the what is the value of available inside the tax rate and it will try to multiply with this particular total and whatever the result we are going to get the result we are trying to set into this particular total so this is the the formula it is going to use to set this particular value the total including taxes and if you are not interested this now what you can do you can go for the sql query also so inside this particular formula you can define the sql query so now i'm trying to write this and here now what i'm trying to provide here sql query so what is the the sql query we can use here now so select here something like average so whatever we are having i dot amount okay something like item dot amount here so so far we don't have item dot amount here i 
and here so where i'm trying to write the condition where i dot item i dot not item i dot id is equals to id i dot id is equals to something like id okay so this is the the sql query we can provide here something like uh, to find out the average of this particular value so this is something like uh, we can add this sql query under this particular formula so these are all the so other suggestions if i want to find out the the value based on this particular first it is going to execute this sql query and what are the result we are going to get the result it will try to set into this particular name call the total including tax here okay these are all the the formulas we can use inside this particular mapping file here okay now observe carefully another important here now if i want to identify the the status is this particular section here like we have a one access attribute here so now you can see this access attribute what it will do this is important here this particular attribute it is going to provide the without the without the getter and the setter getting the point so without this particular getter and setter if i want to initialize the value by default basically hibernate in the pojo model it will try to look up the setter method or the getter method but now if some method like some properties if you don't have a setter signed method directly it will work on the field okay directly it will work on this particular field now we can add field information for those method we don't have setter signed getters method so those the those particular properties we can use so right now right now uh, what is an example we can discuss here inside the item for example what we can identify so long id string name and a description uh, item something like what we can provide item date here otherwise any other properties so name description something like a type here so i'm using this particular type for this particular type now what we can do so we can create the we can create the property so what is the property we can provide something like name of the property as a type here and for this particular type here we can go for the access as a field here and whenever i'm adding this particular field so this type property we don't have a setter sign getter so directly whatever the value we are we are going to have where it will try to insert directly into this particular field sections here okay this is important here okay now i and another important section here so if i want to control the insertion and updation because in the all the cases we cannot give the permission to insert or update now what are the other types we are having so those information also i'm trying to discuss uh, like uh, discussing here something like uh, insert here so whenever you are trying to providing this particular insert by default it is as a true because if you are trying to inserting this particular item this type column also by default it is going to insert the value okay but now what you can do you can make the some restrictions here you can make the false whenever you are making the false this this particular type column it is not going to update it okay this type column it is not going to update it here same way like it is not going to insert at the value and the same way we have update also so this particular update by default it is to now i'm making false so that the update also updations also it will not occur inside this particular the column call type here okay this is important here so this is the way of making the restrictions here this is the the way of making this particular restrictions are important here now finally finally what we'll understand here we'll try to discuss about the the column we identified the property and we try, we are trying to discuss about the item description here and uh, if we want to create the naming convention so naming convention is important here so now explicitly if i want to create the table with help of the some naming convention now what is the, the another options we are going to use it? 
So the another option basically we have a one interface is so with help of this particular interface we'll try to we'll try to use this particular section. So now here I'm going to create a one class. So if it is a any uh, application now what we can do category something like e-commerce so easy okay so it is a e-commerce application now you can imagine we are trying to develop in the e-commerce application now what we will do all the table we are going to start with this particular easy here okay now you can see the easy naming strategy here This is important and uh, now here internally I'm trying to implement implementing from this particular so naming strategy this is we are going to use it and uh, we'll finish this now you can see how many methods we are having here. these are all the methods we are having lot of methods we are having but uh, this each and every method it is going to give the internally what based on the the type or the column related section now you can see class 2 table name okay so what you can understand here the class 2 table name here this particular method is going to call only when the, if the class mapping does not specify any explicit table name here okay so here if you are not providing any table name here if you are not providing this particular table name internally this section will call here this section will call and uh, this is the name of the class and using this particular name of the class now what you can do you can provide the you can provide the the table name here so how we are going to provide the table name here how we are going to provide this particular table name this is important here getting open here what we are doing here we are trying to providing the item as a table item as a table now what i will do here i will remove this particular item as a table and uh, here simply we can call the same written okay same written i'm calling here and with the help of this particular section call okay now observe carefully internally i'm going to call this particular table name method here on from here i'm trying to call the table name method here but what you can understand here we need to provide the the value here so the table name method internally is expecting one parameter how i'm trying to pass it so something like the table name we should make as a with a capital letters so class name dot to uppercase Okay, now I'm trying to converting into two uppercase. So this is a the way of calling. So internally the table name I'm calling. Now this is the table name. Now finally what we will do. So return and what is the the append information we are going to use. So EC underscore like e-commerce applications here. And here what I'm doing here. I'm trying to set as this particular table name here okay so you see table name we are sign we are trying to set here and we are trying to returning these sections here and the same thing column name whatever the column name we are going to set whatever the the column name we are going to provide if you are not writing here the column get in the pen here using this section we can modify the column names here and you can see collection table name so we are we are having entity table name association table name here with help of this we can set these sections here so simply what we can do column name here and and here property to table name here so what is the, the property to table name what we can use it what are the property to column names we are going to use as it is here okay and the last one we need to discuss about the the important section now you can see join column foreign key column these are all the many to many relations related example here but uh, what i'm doing here here i'm going to provide the one method here property column name class 2 
property to table name where is a yeah I think it's fine class to table name class to table name we are having this is uh, class to table name so class to table name we are calling and uh, class name with the uh, property to column name okay so this is not required so whatever we are creating this is fine like uh, column names we are setting so internally the table names also we are going to set here so remaining we'll discuss in our upcoming classes like how the the foreign key related the it's like a many to many associations we'll see how it is going to work now if i want to set this how can i set this particular class now what we can do we'll go to this particular hibernate main and inside this particular configuration class here here now what i will do here we am going to provide the after this you can call here set naming strategy we can call this new ec naming strategy okay so this is the the way of setting whatever the the naming strategy we created here so this is important here because internally whenever the configuration is going to create it will try to call this lookup here and it will try to create the table with help of the the particular column names here okay so after this now what we are doing here we are trying to set only the name of the class here we are not setting any the particular table information if you are trying to set this particular table so the method the class to table name method it is not going to call internally okay if you remove from here then only it will try to call from the the particular sections here okay now another important section here now what we are doing here we are trying to discuss about the schema here the scheme also it is important here now here we are having the schema not inside this so schema so by default get in the fine so by default what is the schema it is going to use it so there is a public schema okay instead of using this particular public schema what you can do you can provide your own schema here so that based on this particular schema we can define the same table names here getting the point in the public in the public schema you can create only one table you cannot create a, the same name with a multiple tables here but uh, using this particular different schemas here we can create the same name of the table inside the different schemas here okay this is important because with help of this particular schema we are trying to differentiating the the table names here so now you can see this is the one schema it is containing few of tables here okay and one more schema we are going to use it so it will contain different names so this is important in the real time we are going to use the multiple schemas here so based on our different different uh, example like different different applications we are going to use the different schemas here so for example if it is a e-commerce applications here now what you can understand production related like a product to, for this particular product we are going to use a, something like a fraud schema okay and uh, any what we can call it as a uh, like a cart related checkout related sections we can go for the something like a cc related schemas or you can go for the checkout related anything so this particular schema will provide only the checkout related sections and uh, this particular product related it will provide the the what are the products we are having okay so and uh, core related we can create a one core schema so only the core functionality related information we can store into the the core databases here so this is the the way of creating the different different schemas but uh, now how we are going to provide the schemas here so with the help of this particular schema attribute here we can provide the, the the name of the schema so now what i am doing is here we can provide the for this particular class level we are going to use this particular schema something like uh, ec okay and uh, another option if you are trying to use the scheme the particular schema for all the classes okay this particular schema which we are going to use in the all the classes now at the hibernate mapping level we have a schema here so now you can see so this particular schema we are going to use here so this particular schema 
he is going to use for all the classes and whatever this particular schema this particular schema it is going to use this particular this class only whatever the the item class we are having okay so this is the differences we need to understand here and internally what we can discuss here package related sections here so package is important now if you observe here we are trying to create the package so this is the the whole package now instead of creating each and every class now what we can do we can create this particular section into the parent level here we are having same package here okay and this particular package we can move and whatever we are having here i am trying to move into this and we can create the class as a item the class as a item and we can remove this particular scheme also from this location if it is required only for the specific classes we can provide otherwise this is the the hibernate is a common location get in the point this one is a common location we can use here now so this is the the way of creating this objects here now finally what we'll try to identify here we'll try to discuss about the this particular sections here now understand here we are going to discuss about the primary key related section so whatever the the primary key we are creating here inside the the category we are trying to create the native here so native basically what it will do it is going to work internally identity uh, sequence or helio so these are all the different types here. the whatever the native we are using this particular generator internally it is depending on the one of the the generator class so what is the one of the generator class here something like identity and sequence here and so this is we are not going to use this is the deprecated one but still we can discuss this particular section so these are all the combination of this three the generator combination of this particular native okay now we'll see identity how this particular identity is going to work so this particular generator it is going to support the so identify the columns in the db2 mysql and ms server here getting the point so this particular identity it is going to identify the columns in the the particular table uh, database is called db2 and mysql as well as the ms uh, sql server and uh, sybase related applications here get in the point and it will try to return the the identifier of the type long get in the point so it will try to return this particular the value of this particular id whenever we are trying to make as a the data database a long short and int okay this is this identify it is going to support for the specific databases something like db2 get in the point and mysql get in the point and ms sql server and finally we can discuss about the sybase so these are all the different databases and it will support this particular four data type, uh, like databases here and internally it will support the the particular data type here first one is long get in the pen second one is short and the third one is int here this is important so whenever we are making this particular id with help of this particular data types here it will try to return the id value get in the point and sequence here so what exactly the this, this particular sequence is going to work so sequence basically it is going to support the same db2 and whatever the the database we are using postgres okay so postgres and we can discuss about the oracle and we can discuss about the the another data types call sap db okay sap db and the same thing it is going to return like it is going to support the the same data type whatever the data type it is going to identify the the identifier the identity generator not the identifier it is a identity generator now you can see what we can identify the increment here because we are using in the previous example increment here. basically increment it is a one of the hibernate startup here get in point whatever the increment generator we are sorry generator we are using it is one of the hibernate startup here what it will do it will try to generate the 
the maximum primary key column value getting the point first it will lower the the maximum primary key value so based on this particular value it will increment the value one by one here so this is the the behavior of this particular increment first because of that yesterday we discussed about the select to max of this particular message id so based on that it is incrementing the value okay this is the the behavior it is going to work internally so because this increment is implemented inside this particular hibernate so it will try to increment the value so if you are not using this particular increment so in what you can do you can go for the any identity sequence or you can go for the this particular helio or you can go for the native so any one of this but what you can do we need to provide the values explicitly okay so these are all the different types of generator we are having to work on this particular different example you can go for the identity or you can go for the sequence or you can go for the native or you can go for the increment so these are all the different types of the increments like the generators we are having so based on based on our requirement to we can go for this particular section here so otherwise if you are not interested here now what is a another solution so you can use this particular interface here so we can implement this particular identity so what is the type of this identifier generator so we'll discuss about this from where it is coming 362 to 464 okay we have something now you can see this is the the identifier generator now what it will do it will try to provide the the primary key value so we need to use this particular generate here so using this particular generate it is having two parameters here session and object so internally it will generate the the primary key value so now you can see it is trying to returning serializable value okay it is trying to return this particular serializable if you can override this particular generate method and you can write the whatever the logic you want to write here so this particular method should be written uh, serializable value here okay this is the customization of the primary key value but most of the cases this particular the increment will give you the more information here so if it is not support here what you can do we'll try to provide the some of the like you will try to modify the data in the database like we can provide the range of like up to the the increment up to the which value we can increase so the value we can provide once the value is reached automatically it start with again zero onwards here get in the point so this is important we need to understand so otherwise you can override this particular generate method with help of this particular identifier interface you can write the how we want to expecting the the particular values here okay so this is we need to understand here but now what i am doing here here i am going to provide the the particular user information and this particular address whatever the address we discuss here we are going to discuss about the so we have a two types of address what are the two types of address we are having home address as well as the particular billing address getting the point now how we are going to create this particular address section so now you can see i will try to add all the columns first later we'll try to discuss about the important uh, like uh, executing the example but now we'll go to the address class so this is the the address class we are uh, just now we created here so now what i'm doing is this particular address class internally will contain street here and internally zip code and city okay these are all the the three columns we are having now what you can do this particular address we are going to use in the two locations so first one is you can go for the home address getting the one and another one we can go for the billing address also we can go for the billing address also this is important we need to understand here so how we can differentiate this particular home address as well as billing address now what we are doing in this particular sections here 
so we'll try to create the the particular home address as well as billing address here this is important we need to understand here and uh, we'll go for the here only i'm going to create the uh, file i'm going to create here so this is the the particular file user dot hbm dot xml okay user dot hbm dot xml we are going to use it and inside this particular user dot xml now what we will do here we are going to provide the this particular sections here now what is the the particular sections we are going to provide now you can see let me uh, copy this and uh, paste it inside this now what we can do we'll copy this and here i'm going to provide the package here so this is the same package we are going to use and uh, user now i'm removing this particular table section and here user id so what is the the user id we are having let me go to this particular user class so far we don't have a user id so we need to create user id also and here only we can generate after this particular okay so user id type long we are providing and what is the the value we can provide here get in the pen here the name we are providing id column we are providing id type long and the generator we can go for the same native and what is the the properties we are having we have a multiple properties so username first name last name and so these are all the three sections we are having so far we can comment out this too we'll discuss later on this okay so we can use on only the particular property call username and here id now i am using username i provided the username column and type we can provide as a something like string we can provide and here this is the important section we need to understand here the important section what we are discussing here billing address as well as home address so how i am trying to discuss about about this particular home address and billing address so to understand this first we need to go for the one of the important section called component here so what is the component we are using it the component basically we are going to use as a home address okay so this is the important we need to understand so inside this particular home address we are having class here okay what is the class something like we are trying to focus like we are trying to identify the home address related to this particular address class and after this inside this particular component now what i am doing is i'm going to provide the property section so what is the the property we can provide something like a street we are having okay so type we can provide type we can provide as a string and what is the column here so what is the column we can provide something like a home underscore street here okay home underscore street and we can check the one more property not null we can make as a true okay this is the the way of writing this particular property here so first property second property and third property because we have three properties so here we can make as a ct type string here so home street okay it is not null 
and zip code okay so this is we can go for the home home zip code not null to and this is the one component so another component i am going to use is this component is going to use for the billing address okay billing address again internally it is trying to refer from the same here but now what i will do here i am going to write billing okay these are all the changes we need here now if you observe carefully what i am doing is one component we created for this particular home address and another component we created for this particular billing address so once we create this now what we will do now you can see so we have a properties here so it is trying to match it with the home and the billing properties are same if you observe carefully this is the user table okay so this is the user table we are having now user id and so username so this is the user related properties now what we are doing so this is something like b underscore s billing state okay so billing underscore city and billing underscore zip code okay this is and home underscore street and home underscore city and home underscore zip code so these are all the home address and this is for the billing address and second for the home address so this is the way of creating this particular sections here now after creating this now what we will do we are going to call the address dot address dot get user here so how we are going to call this particular address dot get user here so this is important we need to understand here so how we are going to discuss about this particular example here now observe how i am trying to provide this particular so example now you can see i am going to create the uh main file where is the main file so up to this i am trying to comment out here so up to the transaction i am trying to comment out here now we need to understand here so user object so user this is the the user we can use it now inside this particular user what we can understand here we are going to provide the user related sections username something like oh, i want to provide hibernate and oh, user dot set address so far we did not create any address here so now i will set this address address now what i will do here i am going to provide address object so this is we can make as a home address okay this is we can make as a home address how we can make this particular address as a home what happens here and uh, home address now okay i did not generate the particular setters i hope let me go to this okay now finally we can set set to city oh 
oh madras dot set to state here oh madras score oh madras dot set to zip code oh madras score okay so this is we are going to call now finally session dot to save so user i'm going to save and after this now what we can understand here transaction dot commit so after transaction dot commit we need to close this particular session information this is the object we are trying to create and uh, whenever i'm trying to run this now we'll see what happens internally so we are getting an exceptions here we need to understand what we are missing here so this is will give you the more understanding null pointer exception where we are getting table to column name binding configuration ibnet configuration configuration so ec message table is created here after this what happening internally so that name of the table now you can see so this is the the way of expected view now internally what we are doing here? so from where we are getting configuration mapping impl table column name binding okay so what we can do we'll make a null pointer exception so we'll debug this because most of the cases here we'll get the exceptions so inside this ec sections here column name property name and here because of maybe because of this logical column names uh what is a join key so far we are not discussing this collection table name what we can do we need to reference column name property name and reference column name. logical column okay first we'll handle the exception from where we are getting this null pointer exception and this is the way of putting this particular exceptions here now finally what we can do here we'll run the example okay so here we are getting logical name the logical name we are getting as a null from where we are getting this logical name this is we need to understand here here now you can see this is it calling add binding and uh, so this is the logical name add column binding and uh, mapping to logical column names so get naming strategy now you can see here we are calling mapping dot get naming strategy and logical column name so where we are having this particular logical column name what we are passing here message id property path okay so message id and this particular property we are passing so which one we can return here so whatever the logical column name we are having we can return this okay first we will go to this and we will try to identify this where it is existed now this is the the logical column name here this method is returning null because of this now internally we are getting an exceptions here okay this is the way of identifying this now finally what we can do what we can do we can return the particular column name whatever the column name we are having we can return here now i'm stopping this 
now we'll run the example one more time now we'll see how it is going to work internally now so one more exception we are getting here so mapping exception so unknown entity org spring hibernate dot user so what we are missing so this is we need to understand uh, go to the user hbm what we are missing scheme also updated why we are getting this unknown entity com dot spring dot hibernate dot user so what is the package we are having com dot spring dot hibernate okay it's correct save maybe user where we created the user table like the mapping category item user user also we are having so correct only okay so here i did not add it you yeah, got it here we need to add so what is the the value we can add here user okay now i'm adding user section now you can see could not find the getter for home address so what is expecting here it is trying to expecting the home address whatever the home address we are setting here it is expecting this okay now what i will do so first we will discuss about the inside the user how we are creating this this is the the properties we created something like a home address and a billing address let me go to this could not find the home address unable to instantiate the default to pojo entity that is wrong here so it should use this so whatever we are using this it should go for the same home address getter for home address in the class of okay now i understand let me go to this and uh, modify this address okay here we can go for the same address home address as well as but uh, table name is same come back to the here oh my dress not null okay so where we given the not null here inside the the billing address get in point because of this particular not null we are getting an exception here now if you see this user dot billing address okay so this is we identified here because of the particular 
not null constant it is throwing an exception here okay now what we can do we can comment out that so we identified what is the, the purpose of this so wherever we are using we'll try to remove this not null here later if it is required we can use basically only one case we can use either home address or we can go for the billing address so too many dotted where we are having so these are all the uh, batch entry zero insert into ec and the user so inside the user what we are having username home state home city zip code something okay uh, what happening null value to about head imported the qualified name too many dots so where we are getting too many dotted names error so it is trying to insert into this user table and they are trying to generating the so sequence here so scheme also updated here uh, unsuccessful create table okay mainly it is trying to creating the table only we are getting an error table created not null primary key user id dotted what are the dotted is that the user id is in integer 8 or what is that i see something so integer 8 where we are using the integer uh, the line number 980 user id int8 not null okay this is the data type the postgres data type it is using the int8 here so not an issue that uh, okay we'll see what we are missing this so what exactly it is contain this particular too many dotted names what exactly it is containing from i think not this when try to alter the function so okay ws so to for the reasoning i am able to find the no i think uh, too many dots okay there is a no dotted names found as similar we'll see this i think you made up some theory about the code function character next uh, you have double quotes but should use a uh, like a quoted identifier the character next while argument it is a wrong theory you have to use a double single quotes okay what is the data type you are using i think one of the the home address you are using that as a, a without string without dot, uh, without quotes okay let me see that not here i think while setting the value setting the value okay let's see all the properties we made as a in the address all the strings only right Uh, okay these are all the strings no problem uh, under the the main 
uh, Ibernet main class. So we have so double quotes. I number 25. So correct. No, I it's, number 25. it's correct only. Oh, no. So it's because of, let me see this. Where is the user one? Building under building state string string under string okay under string 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 column um, home state to home state under zip code home zip code okay so everything we are trying to use with the double quotes only anything here we are missing package user long string it is in billing study okay zip code okay <sighs> let me see we'll validate this xml first The program error analyzed here. Anything we are missing? Tag result between the program occurs. Sorry, we analyze this problem so tag result. Okay, this is not working. I think the XML also it's validated, I hope. And then XML validator. Okay, it is a valid document only. I think mm, something, something, what I am missing. Message or end of items, CFG resource. Okay, let me remove this. Uh, we'll try to remove this first. Uh, the naming convention like oh, add a message we'll see no too many dotted names okay we'll identify the exception we'll see from where we are getting this what is the the root cause of this mm. So it's a grammar exception. Maybe it is because of this batch. Okay, first we'll go to the whether the table is created. Username, it should create. Okay, now we are missing. You see, only message is created. Okay. Okay, nice. This table we don't have a data. Same way. Okay, so table is not yet created. Now I will catch this exception. We'll debug what we are missing. Let me catch the exception here. And uh, we'll run the one more time same exception here. First exception. 
okay from where it is getting handle completion uh, query executor query to execute what is the query they created table user id not null okay so while creating this particular table creations only we are getting an error home state not null I will copy this here we can check this what we are having so you see user okay uh, now if i'm going to run this so table is created successfully only why we are getting here sorry query parameters null what are the handlers we are having so max rows zero cache query uh, query table is function flags okay handle completion uh, this first exception so what we are getting must contain the expression of the block of well format exception also qualified name qualified name uh, what is the name we are not qualifying here okay what is the class we are getting ec underscore user only it's correct only where is the mapping file user id username username okay anything we are missing this component okay anything address address okay street username username type thing okay now we'll go to the address class we'll match this particular property so zip code and zip code so city string home city not null and city billing not null okay we'll try no okay so i will check this i need to debug what we are missing i hope we are not missing anything but anyway could not execute the okay so for example will identify last time if i'm going to comment on this component no for this also it's getting too many 
home state form city file was about and qualified name okay so i think something we are missing so i will do uh, i will debug this code and i will let you know in the tomorrow session so what we have missed here but whatever we implemented the format is correct something we are missing uh batch initiation okay and once we uh, fix this issue we'll try to continue the the category and item related the category and item we'll discuss about the many to many sections here so this particular many to many how it is going to work we'll discuss here okay later after completion of this particular many to many uh, we'll move on to the the type related sections how we can go for the the type related examples here okay so we'll continue tomorrow so this particular continuation i will explain you like what we are missing i will do some r and d on this i will let you know in the tomorrow session if you can take a look at that the exception where you know the ec underscore dot com dot spring dot no this is the package name so this is the like with this section we are doing here inside the the table name whatever the table name we are calling but this one. see that's coming but that's coming as an upper case right the table name here we are doing the upper case only okay so this is not an issue uh, transaction commit so while committing we are getting this okay if i'm going to comment out the commit oh so in proper we are getting an s error so schema updated and it is not doing any op operations here so here it is stopped here so again we are getting the same too many dotted names successful create user id user id it should match with the same id only id user id type long is it because of small long yeah maybe that's one of the reason no okay so we don't want to waste our time i will debug the code i will let you know on the tomorrow what we are missing thank you